G'day YouTube, it's Marty from Music Video Master. In this video, I'm going to show you how to polish those nasty scratches out of your DVDs or optical discs. And the best thing about this method is it's 100% effective and it won't cost you very much. So I was in the op shop yesterday and I was browsing the music DVDs as I like to do and I came across this Nickelback DVD. Nickelback is not my favourite band and normally I wouldn't buy this but it's Nickelback's ultimate video collection so it's got all their music videos and I like to collect this kind of disc. Uh, it was just two dollars so I thought I'll just buy it, you know, it's it's good to add to the collection because it's cheap. But when I opened it up to have a look inside, ah! yeah, it's really badly scratched. So I was very disappointed. I popped it in my computer and luckily the computer does read the disc, so that's okay. But there are just so many ugly surface scratches on this disc, I want to buff them out. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I do that on the cheap. This video is not for really deeply scratched, badly damaged discs. There are other videos on YouTube that will show you how to fix those. In this one, I'm going to show you just how to buff out those surface scratches. In order to do this, we're going to need a few things. Many of these items you probably have lying around the house already and some of them you're going to have to buy. So the first thing you're going to need is a drill. I'd say most people have one of these. Uh, if you don't have one, you should be able to pick them up fairly cheap or borrow one. You're also going to need this thing here. Well, actually, this is two parts. So you've got the backing pad. This is a 90 millimeter polishing pad. And you can see that there's a drill bit there which attaches to the drill and spins it around. This is a Ryobi brand. I got it from Bunnings. It didn't cost very much. And separately, you need to buy these polishing sponges. Um, it's the same brand, Ryobi, and it's a hook and eye system. In other words, a Velcro system. So you just attach it like so, and it'll spin around. If you don't have a Bunnings in your area, I'm sure you can get the same or a very similar product at any hardware store. Another thing that you're going to need is some masking tape or painter's tape, just a little bit. And this is really another key item that you're going to need. I use this car polish. This one's called Meguiar's Scratch 2.0. You might be able to experiment with a different kind of polish, but uh, this is, yeah, this is a car polish designed to make the uh, the surface of your car nice and shiny and I find that this works really well as a polishing liquid. You can see that my bottle is old and faded and that's fine. I bought this bottle years ago and there's still heaps of polish left in it. It's working really well. It's also a good idea to have an old mouse pad and the reason that I use this is I like to have a nice, smooth, uh, scratch-free surface. And it's even better because the other side is non-slip. So uh, that works really well as a surface for polishing the disc. And some extra bits that you might need at the end to wash the disc is some paper towel, a lens cleaner. This is the stuff that you spray on your glasses or sunglasses to keep them clean and a clean dry microfiber cloth. 
Alright, so let's get started. We're going to polish a disc. Okay, so let's get started with this. First of all, you want a nice, wide, clean working space. Uh, I'm using my computer desk, but I'm just going to take care not to spray any polish on the computer. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is just rip off a small piece of tape just big enough to fit in the to fit around the center hole here and the reason I'm going to do this well the main reason is to protect the disc from getting the polish in between the layers but it also serves a second purpose of helping to keep the disc secured in place when I am polishing it. So just, just roughly something like that. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and apply some of the polishing liquid. Give it a good shake. And we don't want to put too much. We want a good amount of polish and just spreading it around with my finger. But try not to get too much because any excess is just going to spray off in any case. So we can always reapply some more and do it again. All right, now we get the drill and we're just going to put a little bit of pressure Uh, applying a, a slight amount of pressure here as we go around the disc let's do it again it's already just that first little um, polishing that first round of polishing has already taken out most of the scratches. I'd say 90% of the surface scratches are already gone. But uh, I want to continue with this and do it a little bit more. So here we go again. You'll notice that each time I buff the disc, I just continue buffing until basically the polish has gone or has dried up and you can't see the, the, the wet polish anymore. So here we go again for a third and final time. a little bit more just a little bit more to uh, try and get rid of some of that excess residue yeah. now I can still see probably one or two minor surface scratches in there But I'm okay with that. This is 100% better than when uh, I first looked at the disc. So now what I'm going to do is going to remove the tape and just going to take this over to the sink and give it a little bit of a wash to get rid of some of this residue off. Okay, so I just went off camera and washed the disc. Uh, I didn't record that bit because I don't think it's so important. Basically, I just held it under the tap like that and with a little bit of dishwashing detergent, I just kind of 
washed the excess polish off the disc with my thumb. Uh, and the reason I use my thumb is because, you know, my thumb is soft, it's not going to scratch the disc. Uh, and also I can feel when the disc feels squeaky clean. Uh, so I know that all that polish residue has gone. And you can see that I've, uh, I've shaken off most of the water, but there's still a few uh, drops of water there. So with a paper towel, just going to gently dab those to dry. You know, don't, don't rub the paper towel along the disc, that might scratch it, because these things are quite rough. And if I leave it at that, it's looking pretty good, but you might still get some, some water spots and streaks as it dries. So this is where the lens cleaner comes in. I got this from Specsavers, just $5 for a small bottle. Okay, a couple of squirts on the both sides of the disc. And now we're just going to use that soft microfiber cloth to dry it. So, you know, I'm just moving my thumb, rubbing my thumb gently from inside towards the outside. And I can do that on both sides of the disc. That helps the, the disc to dry off. And leaving it clean without any streaks and without any water marks. All right, now, Again, I don't know what the light is like, if that's picking up how nice and clean and new looking the disc is, but this is almost perfect. I mean, if I bought this on eBay, or if I was selling this on eBay, I could say that the disc is at least in very good condition. and. If I really wanted to, I could probably polish it a little bit more and get it to a like new condition. But honestly, for me, like you can't really see any of the scratches unless you're looking hard for them. So I think that that's good enough. Okay guys, so that's it. I hope that you found this video useful. I really think that this is the best way to polish scratches out of your optical discs and it keeps your collection looking great. Uh, it improves the value of the discs. If you're going to sell or swap some discs in your collection, this is a great uh, cheap and quick way to freshen them up. And also it just helps when you want to buy some discs, maybe you can get them at a lower quality. I mean, instead of buying them in like new condition, you can buy them in acceptable condition, save yourself some money and uh, polish out those scratches by yourself. So again, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it useful, please subscribe to this channel. I really would appreciate that as I'm trying to grow the channel. All right, that's it. Until next time, see ya.